This review is of a Mercedes-Benz Actros and Schmitz cargo ball tipper trailer and it's in the colours of SKBB. SKBB is a German company and the initials stand for Sand Keys Berlin Brandenburg and the company deals with sand and gravel products. This model is an exclusive edition with only 150 made and it's sold through the Vancey shop. Surprisingly the model comes in a Conrad branded box and inside it's protected by foam rubber. There's no instructions supplied with the model and there's no information on the real vehicle. The parts in the box just comprise the trailer, the Mercedes-Benz tractor unit and a small bag of parts that have to be fitted. The Mercedes-Benz tractor needs to have its mirrors and aerials fitted so the first thing to do is to separate those parts carefully with a sharp knife. Fitting the main mirrors to the cab of Conrad's Mercedes trucks is very easy. They just press into place and usually they fit well and you can't really get them the wrong way around because of the way they're moulded with larger mouldings at the bottom than the top. There's just one other mirror to fit and that's a mirror over the passenger side door and again that's a good fit and stays in place well. The last thing to fit is the aerials and these can be more fiddly so it's good to try and apply pressure at the bottom of the aerial to force it into the hole. With the detailing added it just remains to fit the trailer to the tractor and the kingpin just clicks into the fifth wheel and then the vehicle's assembled. The Actros chassis detailing is reasonable, the transmission and suspension are modelled in plastic and the steering is purely functional as a modelling compromise. The wheels look quite detailed and are different width tyres on the front and rear axles. The cab is quite smart and the graphics look accurate to the real truck. And it's good to see details such as the fleet number, number plate and tiny Mercedes-Benz graphic under the windscreen. At the rear the lights have coloured plastic lenses and there's a number plate on the mudflap. The underside of the Schmitz trailer is fairly simple, the axle assemblies are in metal and there are plastic feet on the landing legs. But the chassis structure does look good even though there's not much fine detailing. At the front there is an access platform which looks ok but it is all modelled in plastic. The tipper body is all modelled in metal so it is strong and the graphics are very sharp. The graphics are also very good on the tailgate and there are also decent lights and a number plate at the rear. Motoring onto the test track comes the Mercedes Benz and it rolls well in a straight line. At the rear the axle has a degree of movement so that represents suspension but the steering angle is really good on this model. You can set a very hard lock so it poses well and with some encouragement you can get the wheels to turn also when you push it along. The other feature of the tractor is the tilting cab and that works quite well and there's a simple engine block underneath. The Schmitz cargo ball trailer rolls well enough and all the wheels spin easily. Each of the axles has got separate up and down movement although it's not sprung suspension it just floats up and down. And the two landing legs can be lowered they just pull out because they're only plastic but there's just enough stiffness for them to support the trailer without closing. Although tipping in a restaurant is not much fun, tipping this trailer is enjoyable because the telescopic ram telescopes smoothly and the body raises up to a decent angle. As you would expect the tailgate at the rear opens but it's a little bit stiff so it's not what you'd call a swinger. Closing the tipper body is satisfying as it smoothly goes down. There's one other feature on the model and that's the access ladder to the platform and that can be folded down and raised up. This is another solid model by Conrad and it looks good in SKBB colours. And it looks nice if it's loaded up. The detail level on the model is reasonable and the features work well enough. So if you want something that's likely to be a rare limited edition model then it's recommended. 